Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how you can repair different problems on your iOS device from like being stuck on an iTunes error or your device being on recovery mode to boot loops, black screens and all that stuff. Now, all that can easily be fixed using system repair by Wondershare, which is a very useful software that allows us to fix all these problems. All you have to do after you have the software installed on your computer is go to system repair and right here you will find two different options you will have an option with the standard mode which will retain the data on your device and still fix those problems or you will have the advanced mode which will basically delete anything on your iphone that's of course the last option if you cannot fix your iphone using the standard mode so of course with the iphone connected to your computer what you got to do is just choose one of the modes that you want to use and then it will actually recognize your iPhone and from here you will need to go ahead and choose of course the system version to which your device is being restored to so what you got to do here is tap to download the IPSW file or if you have it already downloaded you can go ahead tap select and select it from your computer now once you have the IPSW file selected you just go ahead and tap on fix now what this will do is basically just go ahead and repair the iOS system on your iPhone of course by reinstalling it but it will still retain your data that's of course with the first option if you go to the advanced option then it will wipe everything that you have on your iPhone. That's why you need to always make a backup of your iPhone regularly on iTunes or even on iCloud. Now the process has been finished and it took like around 10 to 11 minutes to do so. The device has been repaired and all of the data are still there and that's really, really cool. Now, if this doesn't work for your device, if it has a more serious problem, you can always go to the advanced mode, but just keep in mind that this will delete every data that you have on your iPhone. Of course, you need to only use this if your iPhone has a more serious problem and there is no way to actually repair it without having it restored. Of course, you always have to have a backup of your iPhone in case something goes wrong and you need to completely erase your iPhone in order for it to be repaired and get back to normal. Of course, these two options will fix some really serious problems with your iPhone, like stock on an Apple logo, stock on a black screen and all that. But if your device has entered recovery mode, then it also offers you a very simple solution in order to get out of the recovery mode. Now, once you go to the system repair by Dr. Phone, you go to iOS repair, you will have the option here to exit recovery mode. If your device is on recovery mode, all you have to do then is just connect it to your computer and of course open system repair, click exit right there and your device will be exited out of the recovery mode. Just click exit here. You can see right now my device is exiting the recovery mode and it is successful. Now my device is back to normal. As easy as that with a couple of clicks, you will have your device out of the recovery mode. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is System Repair by Dr. Phone with two modes, a standard one, which will retain the data on your iPhone and will fix a ton of different problems, more than 20 different problems you might have on your iPhone, from a black screen to stock on Apple logo to a boot loop and all that. And of course, you have the advanced mode, which will fix even more serious problems that cannot be fixed by the standard mode. But this one, of course, will delete everything that you have on your iPhone. And then you will have the exit recovery mode, which, should, which makes it very, very easy for you to exit recovery mode on your iPhone. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Go ahead and check out the software. You will find the links right down below in the description of the video. Hopefully, this will help you fix any problems that you might have with your iOS device. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you guys on the next one.